And with the 22nd pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Demirius Thomas. Thomas with a one-handed catch. Touchdown, Denver. The catch of the year by Demarius Thomas. To the 20. Thomas to the 10. Denver's going on the New England. Yeah! I don't always talk about myself and my goals, but you know, I always want to be the best at what I do. Makes a catch and comes down with the ball. He's too good of a player. He's too explosive to hold down for very long. The crowd, even when you up and down, you know, winning or losing, they always behind you. I love all y'all. I always love y'all. <laughs> I don't think there's nowhere better to play. If you would be a little shy every now and then, it didn't matter because he said enough with his joy and with his smile. I'm smiling all the time, having a lot of fun. I just feel like a kid when I come out with them. That's, they are next generation, so, you know, you go out and, you know, you enjoy time with them. This is hands down the best day of the week. Come out and play the kids. Uh, you did it the right way at the uh, highest of levels, and you did it for a long time. Y'all got me a little emotional. Uh, this thing is real now. Like, whoo, it's busy done, man. Demarius Thomas was capable of many things, and quitting was not one of them. He was a child when his mother and grandmother were sent to prison on drug charges. Didn't stop him from going to Georgia Tech on a scholarship. Now, his first couple years in the league saw taped hands, wrapped ankles. Some guys would slam their helmets. Thomas made the entire city of Pittsburgh hang their heads instead. DT had a laugh that could light up a room, loved being around children. When he was traded to the Texans, the Broncos lost a football player. When he died this week from an apparent medical issue, Denver lost one of its own. And Denver Shepherds Russell Haythorn had been hearing from some of the many, many, many people whose lives were touched by DT. And Russell joins us live from in Powerfield. It's a sad day for, uh, for all, all fans today, Russell. Yeah, terribly sad, Shannon. If there's one thing we heard over and over again today, it's how incredibly involved in our community Demarius Thomas was during the nine years that he spent in the Mile High City. And it's not just that he was involved, it's that he actually cared, especially about kids. I remember Super Bowl 50 right here, it's on me. I ain't gonna never forget it. <laughs> Demarius Thomas just had a way about him, a swagger, a smile, a connection with kids. He would get down on their level, you know, just sit with them, talk to them. Courtney Wickberg is the communications director for A Precious Child in Westminster, where DT volunteered a lot of his time, helping children and families in need. He's not only an amazing football player, but the thing that touched us and the kids was that he was so intentional with the time that he spent with us. So easy to get out there and smile for pictures, but he was just so good with connecting with the kids because he understood what it meant to be a child in need. Fans outside in Power Field today devastated. Marius Thomas is like sort of been my idol ever since I remember. 12 year old Case and Nightpipe's dad, Justin, even getting emotional about DT's death. It's tough, man. It's tough. I, wa I watched him play when T you know when Tim Tebow was or you know when Tim Tebow era. Season ticket holder for 15 years and we were at the playoff game when he got the pass from Tebow and it was shocking to hear of. On Stokely and Zach on 1043 the fan, DT's former teammates like Brandon Stokely remembering what a great football player Demarius was. Right when you catch it, that back foot just taps down, and he always said he learned that from me, and that always meant a lot to me. Honestly, one of the one of the 25 probably greatest players in the history of the franchise. I mean, you can't you can't tell the story of the Broncos without mentioning Demarius Thomas. DT, an athlete, a celebrity ambassador, an asset to our community, gone too soon. Look what he did for the community, you know, the work he did with the, you know, the Boys and Girls Club. He gave back. Really understood where the children that we were serving, where they were coming from. As one sports writer put it today, many people were familiar with what Demarius was capable of on the field, but it's what he did off the field that made him extra special. A huge loss for our community. We're live at Empower Field at Mile High tonight. Russell Haythorn. Denver 7. Wonderful tribute, Russell. Thank you for that.